Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining our WPX Day 4 third session. We are very happy to have you here to celebrate our student WPX journey. I am Natasha, your moderator for this session. Do you know any tips for baking? Do you enjoy cooking? If you enjoy spending time in the kitchen or simply love eating delicious food, you will love this session. Without further ado, I will introduce our Shining Star presenter for today. First, we have Caitlin, who will talk about Bake Your Mind. And second, we have Kenneth, who will talk about Cooking with Ken. After this, I will show you about the Zoom housekeeping. It will appear on the screen in a moment. Please take a moment to click them through. I would like to highlight, if you are using laptop, Please change the view into speaker view. And please do not record our session. The recording is done for our school publication purpose. Now, we are going to start with our first presenter. Please welcome, Caitlin. Good morning, everyone. I am Kay from 6L. This year's PYPX team is how we express ourselves, and my topic is Bake Your Mind. It represents that baking can do something good to your mind, which is your mental health. I choose this topic because during this pandemic, we are stuck at home and we finally become bored and stressed. We cannot go out and have lots of time playing with gadgets. One day, I tried to bake a simple bread and I found that it was relaxing and made me happy. So how does baking boost your mind and mental health? Stay tuned for what's to come. Be true, be you. Yok, bisa yok. Good morning everyone, I am Caitlin from Class 6L, Tunas Muda Kedoya. I joined Tunas Muda from Primary 1. I like reading books and now baking. In this presentation, I am going to explain my final primary year project. In this project, I was mentored by three fun and knowledgeable teachers, Miss Nadia, Miss Winnie, and Miss Susie. I also have six general mentors, Miss Lina, my class teacher who guides me a lot, and Miss Lenny, Miss Durbin, Miss Mariza, Miss Rika, and Mr. Timmy, who provides general guidance during the project. I really appreciate your guidance and please accept my sincere gratitude to all of you. This year's PYPX team is how we express ourselves, and I choose baking as my way to express myself. My topic is Bake Your Mind. It represents that baking can do something good to your mind, which is your mental health. I hope I can inspire people and share my belief that baking has a positive impact on our mental health. My central idea is people use creativity for enjoyment and to foster appreciation and well-being. My lines of inquiry are the art of baking, impact of baking on mental health, and self-care through baking. My key concepts are form, connection, and function. My related concepts are style, impact, and self-care. So let's start. First, we need to understand what baking and mental health is. Baking is the activity of making things such as cake, bread, and cookies by cooking them inside an oven. It uses dough and follows a recipe. Mental health is the well-being of our emotional, psychological, and social state. It is how we think, feel, and act. People believe that baking can improve our mental health. Let's see how it improves your emotional and social state and makes you happy. The first one is mindful baking. When baking, you concentrate so much in the measuring, pouring, mixing, rolling that you forget about your stress. People believe baking is a stress reliever because it is an act of mindfulness. I agree so much with this as time flies very fast when I bake. I feel it helped me relieve my stress as I put my passion into it concentrate on following the recipe, and finally, I have things to eat that makes me happy. Baking can also improve your creativity. By choosing what to bake and how you'll make it, your creative journey has already begun. Spending time doing something creative can help with stress and boost overall well-being. We, as a kid, love arts and decorating. My sister and I are super excited when I can make my cookies nice. Sometimes, I also try to change the flavor or shape to get a different feel. The smell from the butter, sugar, and toppings also trigger your sensory nerve and put you in a better mood. This is what is your emotional and psychological well-being which is part of your mental health. 
I really cannot resist the smell of freshly baked cookies or bread. In the end, you got less stress and a dozen more cupcakes. This is what happiness is. Baking can also boost your confidence as it has an outcome that you can show especially if the product is delicious. It is also good for building relationships with people. For example, when you bake with your family, friends, or when you share the product of your baking to say thank you to someone. By doing this, your social well-being, which is part of your mental health, improve. I usually bake with my grandma or sister and share the result to my aunties. This act of giving really makes me joyful, especially when they come back with praise. The act of baking can be a workout, and getting physically active is proven to help boost our mental health. Now that I believe baking is a way to express ourselves and good for our mental health, what do other people think about this? So I interview guest speakers in baking and mental health. All of them agree that baking can make us happy and build our creativity and confidence, which is good to our mind and to our mental well-being. I also did a pre-survey to year 4 and year 5 students. Most of them enjoyed baking. The top two benefits of baking that they answered were improving creativity and making humans happy. However, at that time, around 80% of the students were not sure if baking can improve their mental health. I believe the reason is at the time, the students did not know the meaning of mental health. Therefore, I did a campaign to explain about my project so the students can understand better. I explain what the benefits are and how it relates to my experience. And as part of me applying what skill that I learned in my primary years program, I created a baking game using scratch coding as a tool to help me during the campaign. The game will give a simulation of what you do in baking and how you feel after that. Surprisingly, many students enjoy the game and of course, my campaign. And what does the post survey say? This time, around 80% agreed that baking can improve our mental health. Hey, I have a successful campaign! Another action that I do is creating an Instagram and Padlet for my project. There, I share about my research and experience in baking. I hope all the actions that I did can inspire people and make them believe that baking is good for our mental health. Here is my baking life in the past two years at a glance. I am not an expert, but I just like baking for fun. I learn recipes from YouTube. I feel really happy when I bake. I can satisfy my craving for sweets and I can fill in my time during the weekends. As part of my PYP project and my learning journey, last week, I asked a baking expert to teach me how to decorate cupcakes and cookies. It is a two-day quick course of decorating cupcakes with buttercream and cookies with icing sugar. This was my first time doing it and my sister and I were so excited. I have so much fun as I learned a lot and what is more fun, I get to play with my own baked cookies. It really makes my day as we eat and laugh. So to sum up, baking has a positive impact on our mental health by easing our stress level, boosting our confidence and creativity, and enhancing our relationship with family and friends. I hope I can inspire you all and if you have nothing to do and want to boost your mood, why don't you try baking? I believe your life is going to be better. Let's bake your mind! The approach to learning I use are research skills when I was researching the information, communication skills when interviewing Ms. Sella and Ms. Maureen, thinking skills when summarizing all information and experience into my presentation, of management skills when being able to submit my work on time. The learner profile that I use are inquirers when I research and do the pre-survey, risk taker in trying new recipes and decorating for the first time, communicators when I present, and reflective when I listen to the inputs. This PYPX has been fun and challenging. It taught me how to do research, manage my time, and be a risk taker. Finally, I would like to thank my mentors, parents, friends, and everyone who has supported me in this journey. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Wow, that is a very wonderful presentation, Kay. 
Now I know that baking have positive impact for mental health. I want to try baking too. Okay, now we will hear more about cooking for our second presenter. Please welcome Kenneth. Hello parents, teachers, friends, and students. I am here to present about my PIBX action project, which is about modifying recipes. So first, these types of contents will appear in my slides. About me, hi, I'm Kenneth. I'm a multi Trinity member and I'm from the class 60. I like to play chess and soccer. And I'm here to present about my PRBX action project. So enjoy. Mentors, these are my group mentors, the people who are very helpful and the people who are who have helped me throughout my PRBX journey. First, we have Miss Rachel, Miss Natasha, and Miss Monica. For general mentors, we have Miss Lena, Miss Rika, and Miss Marza. For our last section, we have Mr. Timmy, Miss Lenny, and Mr. Ben. Choosing my topic. At first, I only wanted to cook and show my own homemade recipes and other people's recipes. Then, an idea sparked in my head. I had the idea to modify recipes. Since I had some of my own recipes, which are just basically modified recipes, at the end, my helpful mentors recommended me to modify recipes rather than only cook, so it would be much more interesting. Why modify recipes, you ask? One, it is a good way to express oneself. Two, from the look of the food, it can show how people are feeling. Three, it is very fun. Four, you can improve your creati creativity. Five, you can also release stress by modifying recipes in a way. Setra idea, disciplinary team. My transdisciplinary team is how we express ourselves, and my central idea is people use creativity for enjoyment and to foster appreciation and well-being. Lines of inquiry. First, how to modify a basic recipe. Two, the function of recipes. Three, inspiring others to modify and cook recipes. Key concepts and related concepts. For key concepts, we have form, function, and change. For related concepts, we have styles, method, impact, and modification. Approaches to learning. My approaches to learning are self-management skills and thinking skills. I use these skills the most when I was man managing my time and when I was thinking or choosing my topic. What's modifying recipes? So, modifying is to make a minor change or in order to improve a recipe. In this case, modifying a recipe means making a slight change to a recipe to improve the taste. Like when you are bored of eating fried chicken all the time, you can modify the original recipe by adding some of your own seasoning to the chicken. And voila, it is now your own creation. How to modify a recipe? First, you are going to find out what you are going to cook. Second, for an easy recipe, you can just find a de very delicious recipe, even if it has some chemicals or junk food ingredients, and just remove the junk food and chemical 
the type of ingredients and replace them with healthier ones. Third, test the recipe to know if you need to add more or delete some of the ingredients. Fourth, the final step. Remove the wrong ingredients and try again, only if you are wrong. What's a recipe and its function? A recipe is a set of instructions to make something from different ingredients, or it can be referred to a formula. Recipes are important because they can contain the information necessary to make a dish properly. As with any set of instructions, you rely on them to give you all the information you need. The benefits and disadvantages of modifying recipes. First, for benefits, we have you can boost your creativity and can relieve stress in a way. Two, second, you prevent yourself from starvation knowing how to cook recipes. Third, more, you can be more knowledgeable about recipes so in the future you know what to cook. Four, from failing, you learn your mistakes too, so you can improve your recipe. Now, for our disadvantages, when you fail, you can waste ingredients, so it might cost you some money. Second, your homemade food is healthy, but it will not last for long, since it has no preservatives, so it spoils easily. Wait, you might be asking, what's preservatives? Preservatives are a type of chemical that makes your food last longer. They usually use it the most in fast food restaurants to make their food last longer. Sometimes hidden mistakes cannot be spotted easily. Like when you are cooking, you don't know if your food is raw. That's just an example. My simple cooking video. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to cook my special garlic butter chicken. Well, let's get started.
Okay, so that's my video. And um, let's move to the next part. The difference between the modified and original recipe. So, for my garlic butter chicken, the original recipe was the grilled chicken, taken from salt and pepper, and lemon and Italian herbs. The only thing that I removed in this recipe was the lemon. And then the things that I add was butter, onion, and garlic. But this time, for the garlic butter chicken, I decided to mash the onions and garlic using a stone masher. And change the way of cooking. Instead of using an oven, I used a pan to fry the chicken. My survey results. From the pre-survey, people mostly don't know how to cook or even modify recipes. Knowing this, people might learn something from my exhibition. Hence, I start a campaign. For my post-survey results, after the classes I did my campaign to, they became so interested in my topic, and most of them are now wanting to cook. So my campaign was a success, and so far no negative feedback was given. My mini reflection and a conclusion. The conclusion. This project was very fun, but it was a little bit too stressful at one point. Like when I had to think of the right recipes to search, I had to search on Google for hours. Then I had to put a little bit of my own touch to the original recipe. But in the end, I was proud of myself and felt happy with the final results. A reflection. If I reflect throughout this PYPX journey, making and deciding what food to modify was the hardest. I had already failed three times during the experiment before I finally came across a good recipe. The resources. I took some facts or info for benefits and disadvantages from this resource. And what's the recipe? Thanks. I really appreciate you if you are still here and still interested in my project. For more info about my topic, you can check my site. And I'm very sorry if there are some mispronunciations or something wrong in my presentation. Bye-bye. Well done, Kenneth. That is a very good presentation. You inspired me to modify recipe and cook more delicious food. Now we are moving on to the question and answer session. If you have any question, please type in this uh, chat box with this format. Question calls to the name and followed by your question. Okay, let me see. Wow, I can see a lot of questions here. The first question is uh, for K. This is from Hannah. Okay, what age do you do we have for learning to baking? Maybe like what age uh, can you start baking, Kay? Thank you for the question. Learning to bake can be open to any age. However, if you are still under eight years old, you may start only with a simple task like measuring ingredients and decorating. But you need to get assistance from adult to be able to complete the whole baking. When you are more than eight years old, I think you should be able to follow simple recipe and do it by yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Kay, for the answer. That's true. We need, if you are still small, you need help from your parents to cook. The next question, this is from uh, Miss Francisca. This, the question is for both of you, Kay and Ken. When you fail a recipe, what do you do with the failed food? Do you have a way to prevent it to become a waste? We will start from K first. Thank you for the question. Uh, we all make mistakes, even those experts in baking. And baking is hard because you cannot modify halfway during the baking process. I cut the burn edge off if I have overcooked product, or I add ice cream to unriced or hard bread, and I serve it with chocolate dip sauce and a warm cup of tea. 
and tomorrow I will bake better. Thank you. Wow, that's a very good tip, Kay. So there is no food waste and then you can still enjoy it. How about you, Ken? Thanks for the question. Uh, when I fill a recipe, I usually find out what's wrong. Either it's the rawness or something in the sauce. Uh, if I have the filled recipe with me, I would like just note it down and then uh, try eat it, I guess. Or if it's not edible, I just throw it. Oh, I see, Ken. So you try your best to minimize the mistake. Okay, the next question. This is from Miss Andri. Apa tantangan tersulit yang kalian hadapi selama proses PYPX ini? Dan siapakah yang menginspirasi kalian hingga kalian memilih topik ini? Pertanyaan ini untuk Ake dan Kenneth. Bisa dimulai dari Ake, jawabannya. Tantangan yang tersulit adalah ketika saya harus melakukan research, membuat kue, dan kampanye dalam satu minggu yang sama. Di saat itu, saya harus membuat coding baking games karena saya sudah berkomitmen untuk membuatnya. Yang menginspirasi saya adalah adik dari nenek saya karena dia suka membuat kue dan saya suka diberi kuenya enak-enak sehingga saya terinspirasi. Wow, luar biasa sekali Kay. Dalam satu minggu Kay bisa melakukan banyak hal. Luar biasa. Berikutnya Kenneth, bagaimana dengan Kenneth? Terima kasih untuk pertanyaannya itu. Part yang paling uh, susah buat saya adalah pas aku research dan mencoba modify resepi atau bikin resepinya saya sendiri. Yang menginspirasi saya adalah mama saya yang membuat makanan buat saya. Wow, Kenneth. Uh, Kenneth harus berterima kasih dengan ibunya Kenneth karena ibunya Kenneth membuat Kenneth mendapatkan proyek yang luar biasa ini dan melakukan yang terbaik. The next question is, this is from Son for Kenneth. How does the chicken taste like? Are you selling it? They want to buy it. Uh, thanks for the question. The chicken has a nice taste, but Uh, I know I still can improve it. Um, no, I am not selling it. Oh, I see. You're not selling it. I think people want you to sell it. Thank you, Kenneth. Now the next question. This is for both of you. This is from Kathleen. Did you need help to make it, the food or baking? And is it your idea? We start from Kay first. Yes, I get some help in doing in buying the ingredients and also I also got some help in revising and reviewing my slides. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. I see you get a lot of help and you can uh, bake so many things and that's very helpful. How about you, Kenneth? Uh, yes, Ken? Can you repeat the question again? I didn't I will, hear it. I will repeat the question again for you. Did you need help to cook? And is it your idea, the cooking? Thank you for the question. Yes, the cooking was my idea. Uh, I got the idea from steak since the steak recipe was taken from my mom. So I decided to con uh, combine the normal fried chicken with the Uh, steak recipe. Wow, Kenneth, you are very creative. Combining steak and chicken. That's a very good idea. The next question also for both of you. This is from Infanta. How did you feel when you cook? We start from Kay first. Thank you for the question. When I do baking, I feel happy because it is really fun and it's relaxing. And in the end, the result is also yummy. Thank you. Wow, so you enjoy baking and it's also yummy. That's a plus point, I think. How about you, Kenneth? What do you feel when you do cooking? Uh, excuse me, miss. The question was only for K. Oh, but in here, uh, it's okay. You no, can also answer them. 
Mohon maaf. Oke. I felt relaxed and uh, in the mood to cook since it was one of my hobbies. So you are happy because this project is also part of your hobby. That's good. Yeah. You express yourself with something you love. The next question is from Sean again. This is for both of you. Why did you choose baking and cooking? Well, start with K first. Thank you for the question. I choose baking as it is my way of expressing myself during this pandemic time as we have plenty of time but we don't want to spend all of it in gadgets. I found it is fun, enjoyable, and it is a new learning journey for me. I hope I can inspire people and share my belief that baking has a positive impact on our mental health. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Wow, that's a very good one. So you also uh, find a way for not playing gadget all the time and also learn so, uh, new thing with baking. That's very good, Kay. How about you, Kenneth? Why you choose cooking? I chose cooking personally because it was my hobby and I wanted to help my family uh, eat more recipes so it won't be boring each day. Oh, so now Kenneth is the chef in, this, in the family. Wow, very great. Okay, the next question is, this is for Miss Nadia. This question is for Kay. What do you like to bake at home? Will you challenge yourself to bake something more challenging? Why? And what is the example? I usually bake bread, cookies, muffin, and fruit tart. They are my favorites. I will challenge myself to try more recipes. The one that came to my mind is apple tart. I will also want to make clap-on cake. And further in the future, I want to try to make macaroon. Okay, that's quite a long to-do list. I wish I can taste your baking. That's very nice. Thank you, Kay. The next question, this is also for Kay, uh, for Miss Marisa. Your, uh, it is looks yummy, Kay and Kenneth. And what is the most challenging part of on your project? Can you hear me, Kay? The most what challenging is? part of my project is the in the early stage of the project is quite challenging as I have to do the research, the baking, and collecting pictures, the coding, and preparing for the campaign in a short time. But once it passed, the next step of preparing sites, creating Instagram account, and preparing for the final presentation, it is much smoother. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. So at the first time, it's quite hard, but oh, when it's already working, it's easier for you. That's good. The next question is for both of you, Kay and Kenneth. This is from Kimberly. What is your favorite recipe? We start from Kay first. Miss, can you please repeat the question? Oh, yeah. Okay, I will repeat the question. What is your favorite recipe, Kay? My favorite recipe in baking is baking a bread, cookies, and cupcakes and fruit tart. Thank you. Wow, you have so many favorites. Is it hard to make them? Yes, it is. But if you feel happy at the end, right? Yes. Very good. How about you, uh, Kenneth? What is your favorite recipe? My res favorite recipe is not uh, from me, but it's from a chef. Uh, mostly, I like steak and ramen. Oh, steak and ramen. I also love that, Kenneth. The next question is also for both of you. This is from Jetro. How many times did you try baking or cooking? We will uh, start answering from Kay first. I've done a lot of baking. Maybe I've tried at least like more than 10 recipes in baking. Thank you. Wow, well, okay, you are very diligent, yeah? Cooking, cooking, and baking again. How about you, Kenneth? How many times do you try? Thanks for the question, but if it 
comes uh, uh, from normal cooking and not modifying. I tried more than 10 times for but modifying. I, I just tried more than five times since each try for modifying takes a lot of time. Wow, Kenneth, you spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I bet your house must smell very nice because of your cooking. The next question, this is uh, from Sean. This is for Kay. Uh, Kay, do you like baking? Thank you for the question. Yes, of course, I like baking. It is very fun and enjoyable. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Yes, uh, she like baking. Uh, this one, the question is for both of you. This is from Ivanka. When did you start cooking and baking? For K is baking and then for Ken is cooking. We start from K first. I start baking uh, during the COVID pandemic, like around the July 2020. So K it's been about like two years. Yes. Now I've been baking around time. two years. Amazing. How about you, Ken? How long have, when did you start baking, uh, cooking, sorry? Thanks for the question, uh, but if modifying, I just started last year, but if cooking, uh, roughly around year three, I just started like cooking sausages for beginners. Wow, Kenneth, you start very early, year three. So year three student, you can also try like Coco Kenneth and start cooking. The next question is also for both of you. This is from Natalie. Uh, I think this uh, question asked before, but you can say it again. Uh, what age do you start cooking? Uh, for This is for Kay. Thank you for the question. I started baking when I was 10 years old. 10 years old is mean in year five, right? Yes. Oh, that's so, so young. Before Kenneth already answered this question, you start at year three, right, Kenneth? Okay. The next question, this is from Miss Lenny. This is the question for both of you. Your baking and cooking looks very yummy. What are the ingredients that you use to make sure they are healthy? We are going to start to answer the question from Kay. Thank you for the question. The ingredients I usually use when baking is uh, flour, butter, but like for the fruit tart, I also use fruits which are healthy for the toppings. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Yes, a lot of fruit is a healthy choices for the cake and the baking also. How about you, Kenneth? Uh, can you please repeat that question again? I was lagging. The question is, what are the ingredients that you use to make sure your food, the one that you are cooking, is healthy? Uh, usually, I use herbs and salt and pepper, just the regular ingredients, not that much. But the ingredients, herbs, is also healthy, right, Ken? That's true. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Kenneth. The next question is also for you, Kenneth. This is from Miss Nadia. If you modify some cuisine by mixing some sauce or spices, how did you know that the taste is delicious? Do you have any tips and tricks? It, is, it uh, usually I just see the uh, feel the taste, or either like take a mini spoon and taste it. So while cooking, you taste it like that? Yeah. Many times or only once? What if it, but if uh, just once, when uh, if it's cooking chicken, well, uh, I taste it before I put it in the chicken. Since it's, uh... That's a very good tip, Scan. Thank you. The next question, this is from Ivanka for both of you. Uh, if you are eight years old, can you try cook by yourself or baking by yourself? Can you start answer from K first? Thank you for the question. As I said before, there is no age barrier to do baking. Learning to bake is, can be open to any age. You can get assistance from adults if it is related to the oven. 
Thank you, Kay, for the answer. How about you, Ken? Do you think uh, yes. can can you... start? Yes, uh, the question uh, is, the question is, uh, if you are eight years old, can you try to cook by yourself? Yes, but you need parental guidance. So when there's something that isn't for your age, you can ask your parents for help just to prevent yourself from casualties. Very good tips, Ken. So, yes, if you are young enough, please ask help from your parents to cook. The next question is from Natalie. This is for Kenneth. Kenneth, what food do you cook? Maybe uh, you said chicken before. Do you cook something else? Uh, Miss, can you repeat that question again? I was really lying. Okay, I will repeat. Uh, Kenneth, aside from chicken, do you cook something else? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I usually cook shrimp and fishes and also steak. Wow, this sounds very yummy. The next question is also for you, Kenneth. Uh, this is from Kyoko Zoe. Do you get your recipe from books and which book? Thank you for the question. Uh, I do not get the recipe from books. I just usually ask my mom what's the recipe for my niece. If, it, if the recipe tastes good, I just usually ask her uh, what's the recipe made out of. Well, you're very lucky, Kenneth, because you have people who are experienced in cooking and you can just ask them directly. Thank you, Kenneth. The next question, this is for Miss Lenny. The question is for both of you. Will you keep continue cooking and baking? What will you do next with your cooking and baking skill? Start from K first. Yes, I will continue to do baking. And next, I want to try to... I want to try new recipes such as making apple pie or clap on cake and macaroon. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Exactly, I'm very interested in your crepe on cake. It's unusual and very Indonesian. How about you, Kenneth? Uh, will you keep continue cooking? And what will you do next with your cooking skill? Thank you for the question. Uh, I will continue cooking and I will use my skill to feed my family so they can taste more recipes and food. Your family must be very happy and proud of you, Kenneth. Thank you. Uh, the next question, this is for Kenneth, from Miss Lenny. Kenneth, in your video, you fry chicken and it's, you cook fried chicken. And it's not easy to fry chicken in the correctly. Sometimes it can be either overcooked or undercooked. Is there any tips for us how to make sure we fry the chicken in the correct level of cook? Yes, uh, there are. When chicken for doneness, you don't real, real, uh, rely on visual clues like uh, if the chicken is like burned, you don't uh, rely on that. You can use a internal temperature for chicken and insert the thermometer in the thickest part of the chicken. Or if you don't have a thermometer, you can use a simple knife and uh, cut the middle in half to check. So cooking chicken is quite complicated. So you need to check the temperature and is it cook or not. Thank you, Kenneth. The next question, this is for both of you. This is for Miss Rachel. What are you most proud of, of in your PYPX and why? We start from K first. What is proud moment? My proud moment is when my post survey result, most of them agrees that baking can improve our mental health, which means my campaign is a success. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. I'm so happy that your campaign is success. How about you, Kenneth? What is your proud moment? My proud moment in my PYPX was finally figuring out a good recipe. Like, it took me 10 to 10 hours and 2 days to actually modify a recipe and it's not 100% a good one. So you learn a lot, Janet, and 
it uh, it takes a lot of time but you are part of it right that's a good yes. thing yes the yes, next question add something for the previous question yes Kate you can add I'm also proud when I post in my Instagram and people like my baking it also makes me want to bake more I'm also proud that I can finish my campaign and presentation well, which I didn't expect as the t- time was very tight. Thank you. Very good, Kay. And Kenneth, I think both of you deserve a good pat here. Pat yourself. Good job, good job. Like that? You can do it. Pat, pat. Good job. Very good. The next question, this is from Abby. This is for Kenneth. Uh, Kenneth, apakah semua resep bisa kita modifikasi? Tips apa untuk menentukan bahan pengganti pada resep modifikasi? Terima kasih untuk pertanyaannya itu. Bisa, uh, kamu bisa modifikasi semua resep, tapi kadang-kadang uh, resultnya nggak akan 100% bagus. Terus untuk tips penggantian resep, saya rekomen untuk memakai ingredients yang fresh dan healthy, kayak salad atau garlic. Jadi untuk memodifikasi resep harus melalui proses kadang gagal, kadang baik. Jadi semuanya bisa dicoba. Terima kasih, Kenneth. This is the next question for both of you. This is from Nathan. Will you guys keep on sharing recipe in the Instagram account or maybe in Google Sites? Why and w- or why not? We will start from Kay. Thank you for the question. I don't share recipes on my Instagram because you can actually easily get the recipes from YouTube. In my Instagram, I share about my baking experience and result and how happy I was when I bake. Thank you. Okay, so... You share the result and then that's motivate people, I think, to start baking also because of you. That's very good. Thank you, Kay. How about you, Kenneth? Thanks for the question, but uh, I don't use Instagram. But if I did, I probably won't share my recipes because at one point I will run out of recipes and I will start like making recipes from YouTube. Yeah, so, yeah. Maybe one day when you have time, you can share it on Instagram too, Kay. Sorry, Kenneth. The next question, this is from uh, Jasmine from Nibis School. This is question for uh, both of you. What is the first food you made? We will start from Kay first. Maybe that you bake. Thank you for the question. The first thing I baked was bread. Thank you. Is it a toast bread or maybe chocolate bread, Kay? Uh, plain bread. Plain bread. Wow, amazing. How about you, Kenneth? What is the first thing uh, you cook? The first recipe I cooked was just simple. It was just eggs or omelets. Since I was so little that time, I only knew the simple recipes. But still, even though it was just eggs, I failed almost every time to crack it. So you learn perfect. I know sometimes the little egg cracks like goes into your pan. So now I think you can uh, cook a perfectly uh, sunny side up egg, I guess. Okay, the next question. This is uh, from Sean. For both of you, what was the last thing you cook or bake? We will start from Kay first. Thank you for the question. The last thing I baked was Banana chocolate chip muffin. Thank you. Oh, this sounds very yummy, Kay. How about you, Kenneth? What was the last thing you baked? Eh, so you Thank cooked. you for the question. The last thing I cooked was steak. Wow, very fancy. Regular steak. Regular steak. The next question, this is for Kenneth again. Apakah kamu cita-citanya menjadi koki? Terima kasih untuk pertanyaan itu. Saya punya dreams untuk menjadi koki, tapi saya uh, tidak mau. Uh, mungkin uh, Kenneth uh, di masa depan bisa melak- 
melakukannya juga menjadi koki. Kalau Kenneth menjadi koki nanti Miss Natasha akan menjadi pelanggan setia. Terima kasih Kenneth. Uh, the next question, this is from uh, Mr. Sutris, this is for Kay and Kenneth. Who help you in doing this exhibition? And what support did you, game from, did you get from them? This is for, uh, for Kay first. During this exhibition, my parents helped me buy the ingredients. And they also helped me uh, review my slides. Thank you. Wow, you have to say thank you to your parents. And I think they are very proud now looking at you. Good job, Kay. How about you, Kenneth? Terima kasih untuk pertanyaannya itu. Ibuku paling banyak membantuku saat aku merekam dan dia memberiku banyak masukan. Yes, thank you. Uh, for your, you have to say thank you to your mom. And I think she's also very proud of you now because uh, Kenneth do so many things. So many great things. Okay, the next question. This is from uh, Kyoko Zoe. This is for Kay. What did you bake that make you very proud? So like this is the recipe the, uh, that make you very proud. Thank you for the question. The thing I bake that make me very proud was probably the sugar cookies where I can decorate it with different colors. Thank you. Oh, I see. So you also enjoy the process, yeah, Kay? The next question is from, let me see, wait, yeah. This is uh, from Miss Nadia, for both of you. Apabila kalian memiliki waktu lebih dalam atau lebih lama dalam exhibition, dalam exhibition ini, apakah yang mau kalian tambahkan atau perbaiki? Kita mulai dari Kay dulu. Jika saya memiliki waktu lebih, saya akan mencoba dua resep baru yang bisa saya tunjukkan hasilnya. Saya akan membuat coding game saya memiliki skor sehingga lebih menyenangkan. Dan saya juga berpikir untuk berkolaborasi dengan teman saya. Terima kasih. Wow, seru sekali ide-ide yang dimiliki Kay. Uh, mungkin setelah exhibition ini, Kay masih bisa melanjutkan hal itu. Bagaimana dengan Kenneth? Terima kasih untuk pertanyaan itu. Saya akan membuat slide saya lebih baik dan saya akan membuat dua tiga resep baru serta mengeditkan video videonya dengan cepat. Saya juga akan berkolaborasi dengan seorang teman saya tahu. Sangat menarik, uh, Kenneth. Ide-idenya sangat menarik. Uh, this is the last question. This is for Velma. The question is for both of you. How did you feel when you first started cooking? Uh, Kay can answer first. Thank you for the question. I felt excited and also nervous if my bread was going to be successful. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. How about you, Kenneth? Terima kasih. Uh, thanks for the question. I felt mostly nervous and excited. Why nervous? Because since failing was my worst fear, nervousness make me uh, more nervous. So if I fail, uh, yeah, I don't know what will I do next since I was little that time. I see, but now I think you're not nervous anymore. Uh, sorry, unfortunately, because of the time limit, we cannot answer all of your question. Thank you very much for the question and thank you for joining us for today. We are very thankful for your participation. Please kindly visit our PIPX website, especially K and Kenneth and cannot decide. And also, please check K Instagram account in here on your screen. Please scan this one to fill the feedback form, or you can also open the chat box and click the link there. Our next session later will start at E1-11 with two lovely presenters, Maikah and Warren. Thank you, UIP Exhibition 21-22. Be true, be you, yo, bisa yo.